Welcome along to our big match preview and back by Labrooks for the season. Remember to go ahead and check out Labrooks odds boost available in the link below to instantly increase your odds for the weekend. T's and C's apply. It's a case of deja vu. On Saturday, we make our second trip to the Hawthorns this month, this time bidding for a place in the quarter finals of the FA Cup. Clive's with me to look ahead to the match. But first of all, mate, um, I think a brief look back on uh, Sunday's disappointing result at home to Liverpool. Uh, all of the enthusiasm that we spoke about before the match extinguished, snatched away within four minutes. And the uh, second half, we never really threatened and Liverpool never really got out of second gear. No, we. the second half was so, so disappointing. The first half, OK, basic error for the goal and a bit of brilliance for their second goal. But even at 2-0, you know, Liverpool a bit flaky at the back. And if you can get one back, you never know. Probably a 10-to-1 shot. But you have a go, you don't just lie down and let them walk around your second half. And, you know, seriously... I was I was so annoyed. I just had to walk home. I, I couldn't talk to no one. I was so angry. If I had a cat, it'd be on the moon. I tell you, <laughs> it, 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 it was it was pathetic. It was pathetic, and and I just felt annoyed. My whole of Monday, I was just feeling so angry with it because I, you know, you know that all right, we might not beat them, but give them a game. For goodness' sake, Saints, give them a game. We've got that ability. Oh. I, I don't know what, what this manager's doing. I don't know what he said to them at half time, but we came out second half. And I must admit, the minute Lamina went off, it just was like someone popping a balloon. And there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. How Liverpool haven't won up with a cricket score there, I don't know. But thankfully they didn't because it's only minus two on the goal difference and the goal difference could be important. Yeah, the goal difference is going to be massive by the end of the season. You know, you're hoping that, if hopefully it didn't come down to it, but the goal difference will keep us up. But uh, the weekend, you know, could serve as a welcome distraction from the uh, from the pressures of the league. Um, I've been asking a lot of people around the ground after the match and we've been speaking about it over the last few months. But, you know, we, we seem to be fairly, you know, we, we seem to be faring um, slightly better on the road this, this season, especially with the fan bases. A lot more pressure off the players um, away on on the road this season. You know, win into the quarterfinals, great. But do you think a loss mounts even bigger challenges and even bigger pressure on Pellegrino? It does, but you 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 just have seen so many performances like Sunday in the second half, and and nothing's happened. So you doubt that it's ever going to happen. I've seen a lot of arguments about, oh, why do we need the FA Cup? The league is so important. But look at it going back. For the Fulham game, we had absolutely zero confidence. We'd just been turned over by Palace at home. At least the Fulham game gave us a win. At least the Watford game lifted spirits. It was no classic, but it lifted spirits. And this this can do the same again. We, we felt great after beating West Brom last week. And, oh my God, watching West Brom last night, I watched them play Chelsea. It was just like watching the Saints. Their approach work is so good. They do so much, you know, they do a lot of really good things, but they can't put the ball in the net, and nor can we. And that's been both of our problems this season. And in, in many ways, quite quite similar to the Baggies. And you wonder if on Saturday, whoever gets that goal ahead, although that didn't work for West Brom last time, but, you know, it is about confidence and taking that forward to the next game. Yeah, and what you've just said, you're building it up to be an absolute classic, neither side being, <laughs> being able to put the ball in the back of the net. But I, I spoke to West Brom fans earlier this week. Um, they seem to be fairly satisfied about writing off the league and they seem to be quietly confident about getting a result on Saturday. I, I, I was surprised because they've got a few winnable games and looking at, although they're they're a bit behind us points-wise, um, you know, anybody that strings two or three wins together can get out of this situation. Any one of the probably eight or nine teams down there, but obviously they, we haven't shown it, they haven't shown it yet. They, they seem to be quietly confident about getting a result on Saturday because there's no pressure in the cup. You know, I think it's probably going to be a competitive match. You know, Obviously, there won't be a lot of pressure on both sides, um, but what we don't want is a, is a replay. Um, but what I think, I think we should use is some of the feeling and the belief of, and the elation that we had you know, when we beat them at the Hawthorns only a week or so ago to help us through this one. Well, that's right. It is It's very much about getting back on the road, getting back to basics, getting that Liverpool system, Liverpool game out of your system and looking, and then, you know, hopefully getting a win and looking forward to the Burnley game. 
because all, all we talk about the cup we've got how many games is it left 11 11 games in the league yeah okay so it's it's 11 cup finals now Freddie and that's the way all the fans you know we, we have to look at it like that because it, it's come to that crunch time it's come to the crunch time and we we, we need we desperately need points on the ball we need confidence from the from the cup wins and who knows with the FA Cup unlikely with the fact that the big guys as it four of the big guys are still in it it's it's unlikely we'll win it because those top teams are that much better than the rest they really are but on one particular day you just never know I, I look at it back in, in my days when I was playing in amateur football and you think you always wanted to go on in the cup I get so disappointed when I hear fans say oh it'd be a good thing if we lose no it's not a bloody good thing if we lose it's all about confidence it's all about taking things forward we, we can win you know and, and we can take things forward to Burnley yeah the key, the key is to go into the game in the mindset that we have the belief to win the game. Uh, you know, you say everyone should be up for the cup. And even, you know, Romeo has been out of the press this week saying that we, we shouldn't panic. <laughs> has he been watching Dad's Army? Seriously, <laughs> we shouldn't panic. Has he seen the league table? Oriel, come on, mate. You know, it's, it, we might well get out of this. But it's tough. It's four home games against seven away. We've got to do it on the road. We've got a string, two or three wins together. Somewhere along the line, we've got to we've got to have those performances. There's no there's no given. These other teams are, are getting points from nowhere. Going back to the league, obviously when we beat West Brom, we we did feel elated, and we did feel like we had a chance, and, and sure we have. But this this game on on Saturday, it it really is about getting that second half performance out of our system. Win, lose or draw. We'd be gutted to lose, of course, but we all know Saints can play decent football. But I just believe they went out there on Sunday and they were frightened. They were really frightened. They clammed up again, like they like, like they've done in some of the big games this season. Didn't do themselves justice. You always feel as, as a player, you have to do yourself justice. Yeah, and uh, West Brom will be right up for this one. I, I think they'll be right up for it because they'll be reeling from the 3-0 loss at Chelsea on Monday night. They'll want a reaction. Pardew will want a reaction from his team. But I know you don't like predictions, but what are your hopes, <laughs> what are your dreams for Saturday? Let's try and find some positives, mate. My dreams are to find some more real pubs in Birmingham because they're cracking. And and I had the, you know, the, and a nice curry, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I don't know, Freddie. 2-1 two, two, to Saints I, I I see it being a right old ding dong again I I hope it was tell you what it was a cracking game that league game a cracking game and I'd say for both teams nothing to lose go out and play go out and be positive go out and show us what you can do and then and then take that confidence forward hopefully it's Saints that come out on top but I can't call it mate yeah, tough one to call mate um, but hopefully we uh, we can take we can continue into the quarter final and uh, that will also leave that Swansea game moved to another date. But uh, go ahead and leave us your predictions in below for our trip to the Hawthorns. Case of deja vu on Saturday afternoon. Leave us your likes, your comments and subscribe for more.